defensive lineup. And there's a Mountain Mobile Auto Glass foul ball for strike two. Full count, three balls, two strikes. Let's see what she does here. Yep. Barra trying to save speed-wise for some stolen bases. Uh, Kendra, four stolen bases on the year as she takes a fastball called strike three on the inside corner as Sydney Stahl gets Kendra looking. Kendra didn't like that call. Man. She didn't like that call. She thought it was too low for her. That's going to bring up second baseman. Number five, Junior Brown. Junior hitting 318 on the year. 12 RBIs out of the two hole for the Bulldogs. She takes first pitch strike called in the outside corner from Sydney Stahl. Stahl back on the rubber, checks her wrist for the numbers from her coach and delivers. That ball is inside in the dirt. Ball one. Hey, knock it down. Let's go. Kind of curious to see how Winslow comes out after a win against Payson last night, 23 to three. They were, their bats were hot. And strike two called. Yeah, I saw that, Nick. I made the joke with you last night that hopefully they didn't waste all their hits <laughs> last night. Cougars, or sorry, Bulldogs lost a heartbreaker the other day to Round Valley. Round Valley, there's a Mountain Mobile Autoglass foul ball. Round Valley now ranked number one in 2A. I know they're a 2A school, but they were a very impressive team. Their outfield was phenomenal. Unbelievable catches in the outfield that single-handedly won, won that game. Um, obviously, they hit the ball. They put the ball in play. Um, but defensively, were lights out in the outfield. Center fielder made one of the best catches I've seen on a diving catch. Left fielder made a couple over the shoulder grabs. Um, so obviously good luck to the Elks as they head into the playoffs, but heartbreaking loss for the Bulldogs. And there's ball three. I have a full count. And talking to some of the girls uh, around campus uh, working over there, they said they're next Tuesday's practice was very focused and they were a little upset <laughs> going into the pacing game yesterday and I think 23 <laughs> runs showed. It <laughs> showed them. Yes. As Brown, you can see her, she just fouled the ball right off her foot. And that is, she's kind of laughing and smiling, but folks, that definitely does not feel good when you foul a ball off your foot. Give her a hand, folks. That hurts. That never feels good. No, not at all. Uh, Junior's back up, back on her feet, ready to go. Still shaking it off, walking around. So Cougars ranked 11 yesterday. Lose again. They lost a heartbreaker yesterday to Blue Ridge. Um, Blue Ridge came out yesterday, played well. And they check down to first base and they called Junior out on the swing for a strikeout and out number two. Angela Salazar. Cougars looking to rebound. Bulldogs looking to keep the bats hot. As even in the Round Valley game, they hit the ball. The score was final was eleven to nine. Just a couple great defensive plays. Yeah, we had we had a couple I think we had one bad inning and they, they, they fought back, but it's just, it was just that bad inning. Couldn't, couldn't overcome it. There's strike one called to Angela Salazar. Salazar, the catcher for the Bulldogs. Salazar hitting 541 on the year. Four homers, 31 RBIs. She lays off that pitch high from Sydney Stahl for ball one. One ball, one strike. Two outs here in the top of the first inning. And there's a Mountain Mobile Autoglass foul ball for strike two. It's in there somewhere. Maybe not. 
pencils dying. There's a ground ball hit over to Manashi at third. Manashi across the diamond. Throw was high. Salazar runs to second. And she's on there good. So that is going to be a air on the throw and advance over to second. Angela reaches on the E. Dances over to second, and that's going to bring up Brindley Arredondo. Arredondo hitting 556 on the year, and that massive amount of 45. And there's a drive to center right at Brooklyn Lang as she barely had to move. And we're going to go to the bottom of the second. 0-0. Zero, zero. This is Shogo Ford's presentation of high school softball on italk1067.com. Want to go skiing or snowboarding? Visit our friendly Honda Outdoor Sports. We offer skis, snowboards, and helmet rentals, custom footbeds, ski and snowboard repairs, as well as retail shopping for your snow gear, goggles, beanies, snow tubing, and even ice fishing supplies. We have all you need to prepare you for the outdoors. We welcome you to Honda Outdoor Sports, located one mile west of the casino. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right, not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at SholoFord.com. Welcome back to Sholo High School and Sholo Ford's presentation of high school softball on italk1067.com. We're going to the bottom of the second. Cougars oh, coming to the bat. Or bottom of the first, sorry. It's just the second swing of the bats. There you are, Noah. Three, See your head right there? <laughs> Let's quickly try to set a defense for the Bulldogs in the circle today. Kaya Wilcox catching Angela Salazar. First base, AJ Tagler. Second base, Junior Brown. Shortstop is Brindley Arredondo. Celia Tucker's over at third. Kendra Yabara in left. Haley in center. And Jocelyn Nell's in right field. That's gonna bring up leadoff hitter Brooklyn Lang. Brooklyn first pitch swinging out to Yabara in left. Drifts back, and that is the first out of the bottom of the first. As Brooklyn comes in hitting 447 on the year. That fly out to left. Wonder if Coach Hayes scouting reports. Kendra's been the center fielder all year for the Bulldogs. And he moved her over. Now today she's in left. Were there a bunch of balls hit to left field the first time these teams played? I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. I know Brindlin had one. Yeah. There was a couple out there. So strategy as these teams have played, the sec this is our second time. Brindlin Lang hitting 500 on the season. Takes ball too high. Brindlin 19 RBI, 7 doubles, 14 stolen bases that's, on the year. That's good. Really good. In a hitter's count here. She takes ball three in the dirt. I think another one of our keys, Nick, we talked about the defense, but pitching today as well. Can the pitchers limit the walks, the free base runners? You know, obviously the airs are free base runners. They're gonna, we know they're gonna happen. We know walks are gonna happen, but which team can limit those? Limit them. The less walks is probably gonna- Especially with winners. Yes. high powered offenses. <laughs> Absolutely. Here's a 3-0 pitch. Ball outside as Brinlin walks. And that's going to bring up Haley Manishi. Manishi with those six bombs, hitting 551 on the year. Coach Nix also shaking up his lineup today. Haley moving into that three spot. Um, 
trying to get a spark going for the Cougars. We just talked about Coach Hayes with a defensive change in his outfield. Ball one in the dirt. So you can see based on how teams, how this game worked out the first round, Coach is making some adjustments late in the year, getting ready for that playoff push. Lang on first, Haley Manishi at the plate. Here's pitch from Wilcox. Strike one called. And that's another thing, both these teams could hit home runs, so if they keep those to a limit too, that'll play a big factor. The breeze is blowing out to Outside. dead center today. So we'll see who can also, what pitcher can keep the ball in the yard and what offense can keep the ball in the air to possibly get up into some jet streams here on this yes. light breeze. Two balls, one strike to senior Haley Manishi. Manishi playing third base today. Wilcox checks her wrist and delivers. Fastball right on the outside corner. Two strikes, two balls, one out. Great pitch there by Wilcox. Here's the 2-2 pitch from Kaya. And a swing and a miss. Looked like she took a little bit off of that one, Nick, to get Haley out in front for the second out in the bottom of the first. And that's going to bring up Riley Hewitt. Hewitt trying to dig in today to some corn-fed roots. She's got family watching in Iowa. And Brindlin's off the move. And Brindlin with a stolen base there. As she gets into second, Riley takes ball one. I keep looking up at Riley's parents because we have some friendly banter going on as Brinlin just tied Riley for the team lead in stolen bases. Oh. So yesterday, Riley had one, and there's a Mount Mobile Auto Glass foul ball. Yesterday, Riley had a stolen base, and they were all excited, pumping fists and... So I was waiting to get a reaction, and I got nothing, nothing. from him today. <laughs> so, again, we got Riley's family watching in Iowa. Appreciate you all tuning in. I know Brooklyn and Brinlin have grandparents, aunt, uncle, and some cousins watching in Houston, Texas as well. Appreciate everyone tuning in. Appreciate our camera operators and iTalk willing to do this for these kids. So we got two strikes, one ball. So I know we've got Robin and RJ up on the dugouts. There's a Mountain Mobile Autoglass foul ball. So appreciate Robin and RJ bringing you guys these great shots today. Uh, Mel sitting in the truck, probably with a heater on in the truck, keeping it warm in there. <laughs> <laughs> Mel says no heat. So this is a cool thing I talk does for these kids in the White Mountains. We know the showcase these kids and something they can go back and look at later. There's another Mountain Mobile Autoglass foul ball right over the iTalk van. So one ball, two strikes, two outs. Runner on second for the Cougars looking to strike first. Here's a pitch from Wilcox. Great change up there as that bottom just fell out of it. And that's going to retire the side. We're going to the second. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school softball on italk1067.com. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent now has three locations to serve you. Snowflake, Lakeside, and now Sholo. And with over 85 years combined experience in auto glass and over 40 years of combined experience in window tint, you can trust the experts at Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tint with your vehicle. Call them today. Just call 536-5972. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass. Cash back to you. Hey everyone, it's Joe G from Horde Auto Center and the Deuce of Clubs in Sholo. Yeah, we got new cars, but we got some awesome used cars for tax time. How about a 2022 Chevy Silverado RST? It's already lifted, it's got a 6.2 and 24,000 miles. Did you get a little bit of tax money? Credit's not so good? Well, check out this O2 Nissan Xterra. This thing is in great shape. It's a manual transmission and four-wheel drive. 
Over here, how about a 2023 Mazda CX-50? It's equipped with a 2.5 turbo and it's all wheel drive. You gotta see the interior of this car. Over here, last but not least, we used to have them brand new, Subaru Forester, 2020 Forester Sport, symmetrical all wheel drive, and all the safety features of Subaru. It's Horn Auto Center on the Deuce and Solo. Come check us out here in person or at hornauto.com. Make it a great day. Welcome back to Sholo High School and Sholo 4's presentation of High School Softball and I Talk 1067.com. We're in the top of the second inning, 0 0, as Jocelyn Nels leading off the second inning with a one ball, no strike count. And there's a mountain mobile auto glass foul ball, as that was a line drive, just foul down She's the third baseline. She's been really good. She got a home run yesterday. I think she got one during Round Valley, too. So Jocelyn, 368 on the year, two home runs, 24 RBIs for the senior. There's a changeup in the dirt, ball two. Two balls, one strike. Sydney Stahl in the circle for the Cougars today. Here's the windup and the pitch. Fastball on the inside corner, called strike two. Two balls, two strikes to Jocelyn Nels. Stall with the delivery. There's a drive out to center. Brooklyn back. Oh, right to the fence. Top of the fence. She made it to second. As Nick said, Jocelyn's been swinging the bat well. Brooklyn crashes into the fence, hits the top of the fence and stays in the yard for the lead off double here in the top of the second for Jocelyn Nels. That wind was blowing just a little bit more and it went over. <laughs> it was close. That ball was another foot, foot and a half higher. That yeah. ball was out of here as yeah. well. Good swing there by Nels. That's going to bring up Kaya Wilcox. Kaya takes fastball called strike one on the inside corner. Kaya hitting 500 on the year, 28 RBIs, two home runs. Stahl gets her sign and delivers. And there's a Mountain Mobile Autoglass foul ball. Nice play over there in the third base box by Coach Branson. As Stahl in control so far with the no ball, two strike count to Kaya Wilcox. Nice block there by Humphreys. Keeping Nels at second base. Two balls, one strike. Stahl looks into her dugout, gets the numbers for her pitch, checks her wrist and delivers. And there's a Mountain Mobile Autoglass foul ball. I saw you jump, Nick. It was right back at us. <laughs> <laughs> right to us. As they put us behind the, we had some people sitting where we normally sit, so if you're looking from the center field camera, you get to look at our ugly mugs today. So <laughs> here we are. Here's the pitch. Change up. One hop over to Haley at third. Haley across the diamond. Jocelyn advances to third. Good job by Nels waiting for the throw. Haley gets Kaya to ground out for out number one, but Kaya does her job getting the runner over the third, and that's going to bring up third baseman Salia Tucker. Tucker hitting 282 on the year with a home run to her credit. There's a fastball low in the dirt for ball one. Stahl back on the rubber. There's a good shot of Celia. Stahl with the delivery. Check swing. Foul ball. Tucker tried to hold up, just couldn't do it. She fouls off on the check swing. It's a one ball, one strike to Celia Tucker. Stahl back up on the rubber. Here's the pitch. And there's a 
Mountain Mobile Water Glass. Foul ball right over our heads. <laughs> think the roof is angled that way, Nick. Oh, it's I think angled we're safe. The other way. Okay. I think we're safe here. Thought I was going to run down right on us. We were ready, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one ball, two strikes to the Bulldog third baseman, Celia Tucker. One out here in the top of the second. No score as the Bulldogs have the runner 60 feet away as there's a ball out to just over the reach of, of Hewitt at short. Jocelyn advanced to first at home. And Tucker gets the single. Jocelyn scores as there's the replay as that was just over the outstretched. Uh, Riley Hewitt at short. Right in between her and the left fielder, Bridlin Lang. So Tucker on first, Bulldog strike first, and that now brings up A.J. Tagler. Tagler takes ball one inside. A.J. hitting 290 on the year. Today, A.J. playing first base for the Bulldogs. Here's the windup and the pitch. Fastball high and outside for ball two. Two balls, no strikes. One nothing Bulldogs as they strike first here in the top of the second. Here's the pitch from Stahl. As a Mountain Mobile Autoglass foul ball right into the backstop. So two balls, one strike to the senior first baseman. Both these teams, Nick, pretty senior heavy. Um, Bulldogs, there's a Mountain Mobile Autoglass oh, foul shot. ball. <laughs> Just over the ITOC trailer there. The guy bounced off the, I think it, oh, it did. It bounced off the fence possibly and got the van. That was a shot. Make sure Mel's not taking a nap in the trailer <laughs> over there. So the Bulldogs graduate their entire infield. Cougars graduate two outfielders, a third baseman, and a pitcher today. So they're AJ and a first baseman. Hit. And now AJ she on as she's hit by a pitch. So the Bulldogs in business right now. That's going to bring up nine hitter center fielder Haley. Haley hitting 200 on the year. We'll see what the Bulldogs do if they swing away, if they try to play some small ball, even advance some runners for the top of the lineup with Yabara on deck waiting her turn. We'll see what Coach Branson has here, small ball or hit away. Cougars are pretty fast on the corners though. It's Here's the pitch from Salt, and there it is. There's the bunt as it is bunted foul. foul ball. Talk about that speed. That was almost <laughs> Haley Manish. She almost ran up. It was able to get too much momentum heading towards home as she couldn't zig when she was supposed to zag. <laughs> yeah. And can't get that ball as that ball is bunted foul for strike one by Haley. Runners on first and second for the Bulldogs here. One out in the top of the second. Bulldogs lead one nothing. Here's the pitch from Stahl again with a bunt, pulls back. Haley pulls that one back, takes a ball outside. One ball, one strike. Bulldogs looking to sack the runners over, play some small ball, play some team ball here and get Kendra Yabara up to the plate as there's another hit batter. Don't have to sack them over, sacrifice bunt anybody when you get put on base. That's a second hit batter. And the Bulldogs have loaded them up. And this becomes the dangerous, very dangerous part of Bulldog order. As Kendra Yabara, leadoff hitter for the Bulldogs. Yabara hitting 463 on the year, 15 RBIs. This is the time of the day for 
this outfield's kind of hard with the sun in their eyes. First, second. So there's some question here. So she squared around to bunt. The ball hits her. Sholo's asking that she never pulled the bat back. By rule, even if you have the bat there, you don't necessarily have to pull the bat back. You have to make an attempt at the ball. So if you just hold the bat there, it's not an attempt. So that's what the umpire is explaining, that even though, even with the ball out of the zone, she didn't swing at it, she didn't make an attempt to go after it. She just never really pulled the bat back. She never pulled it back, So yeah. there's nothing, just nothing. And there's a Mountain Mobile Autoglass foul ball down the third base line. So our one ball, one strike count to the leadoff hitter for the Bulldogs, Kendra Yabara. Yabara struck out in their first inning. Bulldogs looking to add to this one nothing lead with one out here in the second and the base is loaded. Stahl gets her sign and delivers. Good block there by Umfris for the Cougars, saving a run. The way the sun's hitting that pitcher, I wonder if she's having a hard time to see that catcher. Yeah, signs. First baseman has her hands over her eyes as that ball's high for ball three. Nowhere to put Kendra as a walk will bring in a run for the Bulldogs till the sun goes down. Right field, first base, second base. Definitely in the sun field for the Cougars. And there's a Mountain Mobile Autoglass foul ball. Talking about the sun field, see if the Bulldogs can take advantage of the field at the moment. Hit a couple things over that way. Someone, did they try to catch that ball? and? Drop their soda? No, I don't know. They might have. <laughs> and there's a line drive over the third baseman's head. One run is in. Two runs are in as Tagler and Tucker come around to score. Kendra Yabara with the single two RBIs. As Haley moves up to second, AJ Tagler and Celia Tucker come around to score. And that's going to bring up Junior Brown. Junior hitting 318 on the year, 0 for 1 on the day. There she pulls back. Bulldogs playing a little small ball as Junior fakes the bunt, pulls back. Both runners advance as the ball gets into left field. Well, third base runner on second. Tried to steal. Haley makes it the third on a stolen base. And then on the throwing air, Yabara moves up to second. So the Bulldogs, two runners in scoring position again as Junior takes strike one called. One ball, one strike, and one out. One out here, top of the second inning. Bulldogs, three runs across. Stall, nice pitch there, right at the knees for a called strike two. A great shot of Junior Brown, senior second baseman for the Bulldogs. Stall, you can see checking her wrist for the sign and delivers. Strike three right on the outside corner. Great pitch there from Stahl as she just paints that outside corner on Junior for out number two. Got Angela coming up. Our catcher. Angela Salazar. Salazar reached on an air in the first and was stranded. Salazar hitting 541 on the year. Strike one. Takes that called strike on the outside corner. Again, if the Cougars are going to throw you out there, that's where the sun field is at. Start hitting it that way, right? Yeah. I know it's easier said than done where we're sitting, <laughs> but there's a Mountain Mobile Autoglass foul ball to Salazar for strike two. 
Sydney Stahl trying to get out of a jam here in the second inning. Bulldogs get three across so far. Two runners in scoring position. And the big hitting Salazar up to the bat. Here's the pitch. There's a mountain mobile autoglass foul ball. Salazar up the bat. Brindley Arredondo on deck. Hoping for a chance this inning with some runners on. Here's the pitch. There's another Mount Mobile Autoglass foul ball as Salazar battling up there, fouling off those outside pitches. It's just staying alive. Stahl checks in her dugout, gets her numbers. And the 0-2 pitch. Salazar jumps out of the way, takes ball one. Salazar, 31 RBIs on the year, four home runs. Base hit here should give her 33, as there's some speed on the bases for the Bulldogs. And there's a drive out to left center, and she got the all home of it. Run. That's a three-run bomb for Angela Salazar. As she said, the heck with 33 RBIs. I want 34 on the year. Salazar jumps on home. As you see the celebration there from the Bulldogs, there's the replay as it goes right over, over the left center fence for that three-run homer. Angela with the home run, three RBIs. She added on to her home run. Added on to her four, now five. five. I think we're going to do a pitcher. Yep, we're going to get here. a pitching change here. Salazar took all the RBIs there from the region <laughs> leader. Actually, she might, Brindley might be one behind. I think she's one behind. Um, I think Mikel Abbott from Snowflake, if I remember, I think they were so. Salazar taking them all away from Brindley. So we got a pitching change here for the Cougars. We'll just keep it here and you just have to keep listening to Nick and I blab about things. So now pitching is gonna be Riley Hewitt as Avery Irvin's gonna move over to uh, shortstop. Uh, Haley Manishi moves from third to second. And Anna Soto goes from first over to third. And Sydney Stahl is now over at first base. The sun's gone down now, so it's not as bad as it was a little sun's, while ago. Sun's down, and the Bulldogs have spun a wheel as this is now the ninth hitter to come to the plate. Brindley Arredondo, 556 on the year, those 45 RBIs. She takes ball one outside. Brindley committed to go play college softball at Goshen University in Goshen, Indiana. So, Nick, you get to travel around the country next year and watch some softball. Watch some softball. And, of course, eat some good food while you're in Indiana. Yeah, it's really good food there. Strike one called to Arredondo. Arredondo, five home runs on the year. 55 hits. I believe for her career, she's got over 100 hits now. There's a changeup as that one is hit out into center. And Brooklyn makes another catch in center on the run. There's, an, there's a replay of Brooklyn coming up as she was playing. Running hard. Brooklyn playing deep for the power, power hitting Brindley. We're going to the bottom of the second. Bulldogs lead 6-0. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school softball on italk1067.com. At Summit Healthcare, you'll find a level of care you might not expect from a rural hospital. We've recently received five stars from CMS, a prestigious ranking that less than 5% of facilities in Arizona earned. Our cancer center has proven its level of advanced care with a national accreditation from the Commission on Cancer. And we continue to add more doctors and services so that you don't have to leave the mountain to find the care you need. At Summit Healthcare, we're elevating care here at home.
Winning takes focus, preparation, and support. Keep focused on your dream career while saving thousands in tuition costs at Northland Pioneer College. We're here to support your goals and see you succeed. Visit npc.edu to see our programs. An academic advisor will get you on the right path to achieve your educational goals. Northland Pioneer College, expanding minds, transforming lives. Listen to the strike. Welcome back to Sh Sholo High School and Sholo Ford's presentation of high school softball on italk1067.com. Bulldogs put up six in the, in the top of the second. We're going to the bottom of the second with leadoff hitter Ange Villa, right fielder for the Cougars. Here's a pitch from Kaya Wilcox. Wilcox paints that outside corner for strike one. Great pitch by Kaya there. Good to see Kaya back in the circle. She's kind of taking a little time off. Had a little soreness in her knee. There's a Mount Mobile Autoglass foul ball for strike two. So been playing the field, still been hitting. Uh, Coach Hayes kind of done a great job with his pitchers this year, not necessarily having to rely on one, which is good when you That's don't have really to rely good. on one. You have two pitchers that can go. Um, and also helping Kai out with the knee as there's a mountain or just a ball outside. Used to saying Mountain Mobile Autoglass. Yesterday, he's pitched Kendra, and she did really good in pacing. That's right. Bulldogs have essentially three pitchers. And there's strike three. three. Talking about that freezing V on the outside corner for out number one. It's always Strike good out. to have that many pitchers in your toolbox. It sure is, as you can, again, limit some pitchers, show teams different looks. Again, this is the second time they've seen the Cougars. I want to say Kaya threw the first time. I, yes, I believe so. But when She's you can show other pitchers to other teams, and there's a ball outside to Ana Soto. Soto playing now third base today for the Cougars. Soto comes in today, hitting 391 on the year. Here's the pitch. That ball's in the dirt. Ball two. Two balls, no strikes. Cougars looking to get something started just to start chipping away here at the 6-0 deficit that they're facing here in the second inning. Here's the windup and the pitch. There's a ground ball right back to Wilcox. Kaya fields her position, flips it over to A.J. Tagler for out number two. And that's going to bring up catcher Gracie Umfris. Umfris hitting 392 on the year. 25 RBIs, three home runs. Kaya looks into her dugout, gets her signal. Here's the windup and the pitch. Fastball right there on that corner again for strike one. Consistency by our plate umpire on yeah. both sides. Both First sides. two innings, if it's on that catcher's moving out as far as they can go, learning the strike zone, as there's the limit. Right, there's the limit. There's the limit. Out. That one's a little out. Been very consistent behind the plate from Quinn Ashton. Quinn's been doing this for a few years, just a couple. If anyone's wondering. <laughs> Just a couple. Just a couple. Ball two. I want to say Quinn's been at this for 20-something years. Softball. We got people barking. <laughs> Over. That's... There's a swing and a miss from Humphreys. Two balls, two strikes, two outs here in the second inning. Six nothing Bulldogs. Here's the windup and the pitch. Fastball high outside for ball three. Full count to the catcher, Gracie Umphress for the Cougars. 
Kaya Wilcox trying to get out of this inning unscathed. Here's the windup and the pitch. That ball's in the dirt as Offris gets a walk. And that's going to bring up pitcher Sydney Stahl. Stahl hitting 400 on the year. As we're getting a courtesy runner for the catcher. Looks like number two, Kirsten Goodman coming in to courtesy run for Umphur so she can get in there, get her gear on, and keep the game moving along. Two outs here in the bottom of the second. Again, Cougars looking to chip away at this deficit. There's strike one called. Again, right on that corner, and it's right. been consistent. It's I know consistent. a few Bulldog fans over there barked at the last batter, <laughs> but we're right here behind the plate, folks, and it has been as consistent as it can be. Spot on. Again, on both sides, that ball's in the dirt, skips away from Salazar. Salazar tries to block it, bounces off a shin guard. So Goodman scampers over to second. One ball, one, one strike. strike, two outs. Wilcox gets her sign and delivers. That ball's right back to us on a wild pitch. Goodman over the third. One more of those from the Bulldogs and the Cougars look like they'll be on the board. The Cougars got speed. Cougars do have some speed. Here's the windup and the pitch. Fastball again, right there at the knees, right on that outside corner. Here's the thing, Nick, if these two teams haven't figured it out yet, I'm not sure what they're watching because it, again, consistent. Absolutely. Salazar right sets there. up again out there and that one is Mount Mobile Autoglass fouled off the screen as Stahl protects. We've seen Salazar inch her way, inch her way, and inch her way outside, trying to find the limit. I think she's found the limit, and now she's creeping back again. in. She sets up again out there. Here's the windup and the pitch. That one's a little too far out. Full count. Full count to stall. Nine hitter Avery Irvin waiting her turn on deck. Wilcox checks her wrist and delivers. Ball low. Good at bat there by Stahl. To battle back and take the walk. And that's gonna bring up Avery Irvin. Irvin now at shortstop for the Cougars. Irvin hitting 364 on the year. Cougars got runners on the corners. Two outs here in the bottom of the second. Bulldogs scratch six across in the top of the second. Looking to get out of this, still up six. Fastball high taken for ball one. Stahl now playing first base, so the Cougars can't get a courtesy runner for her as she is no longer pitching. That's why she's running over there at first base. And there's that outside there's that corner pitch. again for a called strike one. It is very consistent every single time right there he calls it. There's another one as Stahl steals second. It's easy for me to talk highly of Quinn. He's one of my basketball officiating partners for basketball in the area. He's on my football crew as an official. Quinn does a lot for these kids with the officiating, um, again, so they can play the game. And he's become very good at the sports that he does. Got two balls, two strikes, two outs. Bottom of the second. Wilcox with the 2-2 pitch. And there's a Mountain Mobile Autoglass foul ball. 
as Irvin spoils that one on the outside corner from Wilcox. Runners on second and third, two outs here in the bottom of the second. Cougars trying to get on the board. Here's the 2-2 pitch, and there's a fly ball out to right. Jocelyn Nels comes in sliding on the knees to make a catch. Here's a great replay. Nels, long way to run. What a catch to keep the Cougars scoreless. We're going to the top of the third. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school softball on italk1067.com. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right, not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the Deuce and at SholoFord.com. You've been there waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. Welcome back to Sholo High School and Sholo Ford's presentation of high school softball on italk1067.com. We're going to the top of the third. Bulldogs lead 6-0 as they got six across in the second inning and spun the wheel, bringing nine to the plate. That's going to bring up Jocelyn Nels. Nels led off the second inning with a double off the top of the center field wall. Riley, Riley Hewitt now in the circle for the Cougars. That was ball inside to Nels. Get the pitcher's over getting her sign. She forgot her sign in the dugout. Forgot her wristband. Everyone uses wristbands now, Nick, and I just want to keep yelling bingo. <laughs> Like, what happened to the old stuff where you just gave signs, catcher put down some numbers, and you knew what you were throwing? One was a fastball. Bull Durham. One's a fastball, two's a curve. Yes, see. Ricky Vaughn. Give him the heater, Ricky. <laughs> Give me the old number one. That was a swing and a miss from Nels. It's one ball, two strikes. I think she wanted that one, but then she realized it was a little high, and... Couldn't hold up. Yep. There's a mountain mobile auto glass foul ball. Every now and then, Nick and I just get on a tangent and squirrel. <laughs> Here's the pitch from Hewitt. As they check down at first. Nels holds up for ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Not gonna lie, Nick, I've been having to do this by myself and it's not as fun. <laughs> it's not as fun when you're by yourself. It's not. There's a Mount Mobile Auto Glass foul ball down the third base line. Two balls, two strikes. To the leadoff hitter here in the top of the third inning, Jocelyn Nels. I see the Cougars wearing their pink jerseys today. Is it a special night for them or? No, it's just so they get these jerseys for the Gracie Hot Tournament. There's another Mountain Bull Water Glass foul ball. So they get these paint jerseys for the Gracie Hot Tournament. It's a cancer awareness tournament uh, down in Payson. This year it was canceled due to rain for the entire weekend. So I think the girls have just chosen to wear them here and there throughout the year. And there's a swing and a miss by Nels for out number one. one. So I think just tonight was one of those nights I know when I saw Brinley, when she walked up, she's like, oh, the Cougars have their hitting shirts on. And I looked at her and she goes, they hit really well when they're wearing the pink jersey. So she's taking notice. 
as of yet, it hasn't really kicked in. So Cougars hoping that the hitting jerseys get going as Kaya Wilcox hits a Mountain Mobile Autoglass foul ball off the backstop. Wilcox hitting 500 on the year, 0 for 1 on the day. Fastball high for ball one. We're only in the third inning, zero to six. I've seen these games. All it takes is one play to turn it over, and it just goes with it. It does. Hitting's contagious. There's a ground ball over to Soto at third. Soto across the diamond to stall. Retiring Wilcox for out number two. You know, especially here in this park with the wind blowing out the center. We've already seen the one home run by Salazar. Um, again, Cougars have a powerful lineup that this thing could. It's now coming again for the second time around. See what they can do to Kaya. Celia Tucker takes a first pitch high. Tucker, one for one on the day with a single and a run scored. Tucker coming into today, hitting 282 on the year. She takes high for ball two. Two balls, no strikes to the senior third baseman, Celia Tucker. Riley checks her wristband and delivers. Fastball in for ball three. Three and oh. Here's the windup and the pitch. Strike on that outside corner as Tucker was taken all the way. If you can hear Coach Branson down there in the third base box telling Celia one pitch, one spot, look for yours. That wasn't it as she walks. And that brings up A.J. Tagler. Tagler 0 for 0 on the day as she was hit by a pitch and scored. Last inning, two outs, runner on first with the Bulldogs leading 6 nothing. Here's a pitch from Hewitt. Hewitt, or Hewitt with a great pitch right there for called strike one. A.J. Tagler coming into today, hitting 290 on the year. As there's a line drive right on the line. Tagler ball. on her way to second. Tucker in to score. Tagler as she literally paints the line down the right field line for an RBI triple. Tucker comes in to score. Tagler with the triple and an RBI. Tagler looking for that glass shattering hit of the game award at the end from Deemer's Glass. And there's a Mountain Mobile Auto Glass foul ball. Get Deemer's glass, glass shattering hit of the game. If you need glass for your home or business, he called Deemer's glass for affordable glass or quality glass at affordable prices. Call Deemer's glass at 1-888-GLASSMAN. Haley's up. She's got one ball, one strike. There's a good block there by Umfris. There's a change up in the dirt. Haley reached last inning hit by a pitch and scored and there's a drive into right field as Haley with the RBI single scoring Tucker Haley with a great swing there right through the 3-4 hole Haley making her case throwing her name in the hat for that Horn Auto Center drive of the game the Chevy Cadillac and GMC store that saves you more so AJ came in on that one and that's now going to extend the lead to eight nothing Bulldogs. And we're back at the top of the order as Kendra Yabara, one for two on the day with a strikeout and a single, two RBIs and a run scored back in the second. She tries to check her swing there and instead gets a Mountain Mobile Autoglass foul ball. Just over Itox trailer. Just over the trailer that's behind the third, first base dugout. Hewitt gets her sign and delivers. Fastball in the dirt, bounces off a shin guard as Umphris tries to block that one. It just takes an unlucky hop off the plastic shin guard. 
Haley's going to get in the second. One ball, one strike, two outs here in the top of the third inning. Fastball high for ball two. Two balls, one strike, two outs, runner on second. Good speed again. We've talked about the speed of the Cougars lineup. Bulldogs lineup just as fast. As there's a fastball on that outside corner for called strike two. Coach Branson in the third base box tonight telling Kendra just go with it. Hit it that way where it's pitched. And she tries as there's a Mountain Bull Bladegoss foul ball. Right back to us on that one. As you can see the adjustment there from Yabara, she tried to hit it that way, just missed it and fouled it back right in front of us. Riley back up on the rubber and delivers. And there's a long drive deep. And I mean Home deep run. over the left center or left field fence. Is that Chase Brindlin Lang to the wall? Yabara with the two-run bomb. That's Kendra with the two RBIs, the home run. Kendra, four RBIs on the day. Kendra said, I want to throw my name into the ring for that Honda Ski and Outdoor Sports Store player of the game. Honda Ski and Outdoor Sports has the best selection of hiking, camping, hunting, fishing gear in the White Mountains, located south of Pine Top on Highway 260. Just on the right side of the road before you get to the Honda Resort and Casino. And there's strike one called the Junior Brown. Brown 0 for 2 on the day with a couple of strikeouts. And there's a swing and a miss for strike two. Brown 318 on the year. As the Bulldogs have a 10 spot up on that scoreboard. As time is called. Junior down 0-2 as Hewitt trying to get the Cougars back into the dugout. And there's an inside pitch that gets Junior to jam and Mount Mobile Autoglass foul ball. Still 0-2. We talked about the home runs. and Talked about the home runs, and I'm not even sure the wind has even played a factor in either of the two that we've seen. No, they have. It has not. It's not blowing that hard to... Salazar and Yabara with two bombs. And there's a foul tip. Strike three for the third out of the inning. We're going to go to the bottom of the third. Bulldogs up 10 0. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school softball on italk1067.com. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1 888 Glassman. Want to go skiing or snowboarding? Visit our friendly Honda Outdoor Sports. We offer skis, snowboards, and helmet rentals, custom footbeds, ski and snowboard repairs, as well as retail shopping for your snow gear, goggles, beanies, snow tubing, and even ice fishing supplies. We have all you need to prepare you for the outdoors. We welcome you to Honda Outdoor Sports, located one mile west of the casino. Welcome back to Sholo High School and Sholo Ford's presentation of high school softball at italk1067.com. Leading off the bottom of the third is Brooklyn Lang. Brooklyn 0 for 1 on the day as she hit a ball out to left field to Yabara for out number one in the first. Brooklyn takes that ball high for ball one. Here's a pitch from Wilcox. Ball two high. Cougars looking to get something started. Top of the order here, second time around. What adjustments can the Cougars make? What adjustments is Wilcox going to make? I'm the circle for the Bulldogs. 
Here's the 0-2 pitch. And there's a foul ball right off the mask of Salazar. Brooklyn took a really big cut there. Brooklyn coming into today, hitting 447 on the year, couple of home runs. Here's the pitch. That should be strike, strike two. two. Little got a little excited there. A little excited there from <laughs> Quinn. <laughs> As Brooklyn gave him the wait a second. That's not three. That's only two. As Wilcox paints that outside corner. Here's the 2-2 pitch. That ball's outside. Full count here. Full count to Brooke. Cougars looking to get something started. Here's the Kendra or Angela on the outside corner. Brooklyn check swing for a Mountain Mobile Auto Glass foul ball. If I was yelling at my kid and not doing this, I'd be yelling to stay on it, go with it. <laughs> As Brooklyn's creeped up on the plate a little bit, and there's a Mountain Mobile Auto Glass foul ball as she spoils the changeup from Kaya Wilcox, battling, trying to get something started here for the Cougars. You think these pitchers figured out the ump's line there? We're looking at it because you can see Brooklyn's moved up on that line. She's crowding the plate. And there's a oh, single goes. going in the left. Talking about going the other way. Brooklyn does just that. And that's the first hit for the Cougars today. As the Cougars get back to the top of the order, Brooklyn with the single. And that's going to bring up twin sister Brynlyn Lang. Brinlin 0 for 0 on the day with a walk in the first. Brinlin hitting 500 on the year. As she takes that pitch outside corner for strike one. Again, stay on it, go with it. <laughs> if I could yell, I would. <laughs> Brinlin squares around the bunt and she bunts it in the air. Third base got it. Oh, they threw the ball. Brooklyn goes back, tags up, and advances. So that's going to be a pop up. So that's an F5 for Br uh, Brinlin. Brooklyn then advances on the air to second. And that's going to bring up Haley Manishi. Manishi. 551 on the year, six home runs. And there's a up the middle diving effort by Brinley Arredondo as Brooklyn has to go back to second. Good base running there. Case Brinley makes a great play behind her. She's not doubled off. Manishi with a single up the middle. And now the Cougars got runners on the corners with one out. my brother <laughs> fastball high and outside to Riley Hewitt for ball one Riley hitting 444 on the year a couple of home runs to her credit again trying to get into those corn fed roots from Iowa heritage that she has from her dad's side as she swings through that one. She got ball one. Strike, strike one. one. Yep, one and one the count. Riley 0 for 1 on the day as she grounded back to the pitcher in the yeah. first. One out. One out. Runners on the corners. There's a Mountain Mobile Auto Glass foul ball. As Manishi was off on the pitch, trying to steal second. She's got a return. One ball, two strikes to Hewitt, the four hitter for the Cougars. Hey, we need you one. Make sure you get it. Know the difference, yeah. 
Riley digs back in. Kaya gets her sign and delivers. Strike three on that outside corner. As Manishi steals second. Hewitt strikes out looking for out number two. Angie Villa comes up 0 for 1 on the day. Villa hitting 368 on the year. There's a ball right back to the backstop here. Takes a wicked hop. Brooklyn cannot advance home as it bounces right back to Salazar at the plate. Salazar knows who's on third. She's got wheels, so she had to hustle on that one. Lucky bounce back to Salazar. Some speed on the bases for the Cougars. Base hit should score two as that pitch is outside for ball two. Got two balls, no strikes, two you're all, outs. You're always going to hear those oohs and ahs from the fans sitting on the sides of the backstop as there's a swing and a miss from Villa. They always want the outside corner. They Everybody want wants it. Everybody. Hopefully they go back and watch this and see what we've been talking about. That it's been consistent for both teams. Absolutely. Here's a pitch from Wilcox. Flinched a little there. <laughs> that one got me. That ball. I'm out. Mobile our last foul ball right back here to the screen. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. In the bottom of the third, two runners on here for the Cougars. Here's the pitch to Villa. Fastball high outside for ball three. Full, Full count. count. Kaya looking to get out of this inning and keep the shutout intact for the Bulldogs. Cougars looking to either get another runner on or one across as that ball is high for ball four and the walk, and that's going to load them up for the Cougars. That's going to bring up third baseman on a Soto. Soto 0 for 1 on the day. Coming into today, hitting 391 on the year and a home run to her credit. Nice scoop there by Salazar. Brooklyn's got to be careful. Salazar's <laughs> got a good arm. Like, you're down 10 nothing. Don't give up a cheap out. You need all the runs you can get. Yes, absolutely. At Especially when bases are loaded right here. And Brooklyn's fast. Got to know. Got to stay within yourself here. You don't want to get picked off by Salazar on a snap throw back. There's a swing and a miss. By Soto for strike one. It's kind of hard when you got kids on the field. Your kids and you can't yeah. say nothing because you're on the radio. Yeah, you know it's uh again you just got a couple of dads sitting here volunteering their time so these kids can have a memory to go back and watch later on. Families can watch. There's a ground ball past Tucker. One run is in. Here comes the speedy Manishi as she's up. Soto with the two RBI single. As Manishi and Lang come around to score. Via over to second, and the Cougars are on the board. Again, trying to just chip away at this deficit that the Bulldogs have put them in. That's going to bring up Gracie Umfris. Umfris 0 for 0 on the day with a walk. And there's a check swing for a Mountain Mobile Autoglass foul ball. For strike one, Umphris hitting 392 on the year, three home runs, 25 RBIs. Via more speed for the Cougars out at second base. Here's the windup and the pitch. There's a swing and a miss for strike two. Base hit here should score Via. As again, we've talked about, there's power in both of these lineups and a tremendous amount of speed with both of these lineups. Here's the 0-2 pitch from Wilcox. And there's a swing and a fly ball out to right. Jocelyn Nels under it. 
And that's out number three. 10-2 Bulldogs. We're going to the top of the fourth. This is Shovel Four's presentation of high school softball on italk1067.com. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right. Not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at SholoFord.com. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent now has three locations to serve you. Snowflake, Lakeside, and now Sholo. And with over 85 years combined experience in auto glass and over 40 years of combined experience in window tent, you can trust the experts at Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent with your vehicle. Call them today. Just call 536-5972. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass. Cash back to you. Welcome back to Sholo High School and Sholo Ford's presentation of high school softball on italk1067.com. Going to the top of the fourth, Bulldogs lead 10-2 as the Cougars were able to scratch a couple across to chip away at this deficit. And that's going to bring up the meat of this order for the Bulldogs and the three hitter, Angela Salazar. Salazar 541 on the year. Now 33 RBIs and now five home runs as she hit a bomb her last at bat. And then the very consistent 556 hitting Brindley Arredondo on deck. And there's strike one called right at the knees to Salazar. If anyone should know this strike zone, it should be Salazar. It should be her. From catching to setting up on that outside corner. She should know exactly where the umpire's zone is at as she jumps out of the way of that one for ball one. There's a great shot of Salazar smiling as she's dancing out of the way. We got a ball on the field from somewhere. Not sure how that happened or got some kids probably playing down there. Had a ball on the field, called time. Brindlin throws it over the fence, kind of gives a look. And there's a ball high. Two balls, one strike to the catcher, three hitter for the Bulldogs, Angela Salazar. Salazar, one for two on the day. She reached on an air. And then again, that last in the second inning had a three run home run over the left center fence. She's in a good hitter's count here, 3-1. With Arredondo on deck, and there's the walk. walk. So lead off walk to Salazar. Number 11. So if we do have some excitement coming over the airwaves, again, apologize. We both got kids playing, we got kids competing against each other. The cool thing, Nick, is our kids know each other from the rodeos and the barrel racing around the White Mountains. So, fun fact for everybody, like, yeah. we're all friends. We're all friends. <laughs> <laughs> As our Dondo takes that pitch high for ball one. There's strike one to called to Brindley. Again, Brindley going on to play college ball in Goshen, Indiana at Goshen University. She's going to be a maple leaf. A change oh, up change for up. strike two. Salazar down as she steals second. As that was a good change up there by Hewitt. Caught Brindley by surprise. That was a really good change up. Here's the one two pitch. And there's a yes. rocket all the way to the fence. Past the third baseman, past Brindley in left. And there's an RBI double from Brindley Arredondo as she just adds to the RBIs. Now 46 on the season. That was a rocket. Absolute missile. Brindley throwing her name in the hat. 
for that Deemer's glass, glass shattering hit of the game. Again, if you need glass for your home or business, call Deemer's Glass at 1-888-GLASSMAN. That's ball one to Jocelyn Nels. We are possibly verging onto the 10 run rule. There's a Mountain Mobile Autoglass foul ball. If you're unaware, high school baseball and softball, if a team is up by 10 runs after five and a half innings, um, or sorry, it'd be four and a half innings, um, the game would then be called. So in this case, it would be five innings because the Cougars are the home team. So we're on that verge of an inning and a half away and a one run away for the Bulldogs if they can scratch one more across as Nell's 3-1 count. Nell's one for two on the day with a double, a run scored. Nell's has been red hot of lately in the last few games. There's a change up low and in as Nell's walks. Now the Bulldogs got runners on first and second. No outs. No outs. Brindley being on second is fast, so they better not let a pass ball go by. A little sarcasm <laughs> am I hearing from Nick? <laughs> You know, at you, home. You'd never know. Two two years ago, ACL surgery. She yes. missed all of her junior year, unfortunately. You'd never know it watching this kid play. Um, phenomenal athlete, still diving around, sliding around. How is that, honestly? I mean, I know we've talked a little bit, but do you ever wince when you see her running, diving, sliding? Like, Does that just it, worry you as a dad? It still does, yes. You know, could... There's a pass ball. They all advance. Nell's up the second. Arredondo over the third. Bryn Brooklyn had a, some, an Achilles surgery. Wasn't anything as major as Brindley's, but watching even her, her first game back, I was just winced every time she took off, ran, slide. You know, hers was just had to get some bone shaved off her heel. They had to detach two-thirds of her Achilles and then re-anchor it. So she was in a boot. For a while, she got out of the boot a week before her uh, the tryouts for this season, and you can still see her limping, gimping around a little bit, but still In, hustling. You wouldn't really notice if no, you didn't really yeah. know. Any surgery is just you just as a parent, you're just no. oh. three zero to Wilcox as she takes strike one down the middle. Kaya zero for two on the day with two ground outs. Wilcox coming in today, hitting 528 RBIs and two home runs. There's strike two called on that inside corner. She's got full count on her. Again, another one who shouldn't be surprised by the strike zone as it's been consistent <laughs> with the corners that she's been hitting yeah, those corners. She's been hitting them. From the circle, here's the full count pitch from Hewitt. That ball's in the dirt. Nice block there by Umfres saving from the speedy Arredondo down at third. <laughs> As Wilcox walks, now the bases are loaded for Celia Tucker. Tucker one for one on the day with a single, a walk, and two runs scored. They put Kenna on first for our pitcher, took Wilcox out. Okay, McKenna, McKenna Hardy over at first now as the courtesy runner for the pitcher, Kaya Wilcox. There's a great shot of Coach Branson giving a little pep talk there to Celia Tucker. Tucker smiles, jogs back into the box. <laughs> Must have been a good talk. Must have been a great pep talk. <laughs> as Tucker gets in, now the focus face is on, and here's the pitch. As she goes to bunt, there's the example of attempting the bunt and getting hit by a ball, and it's a strike, you don't get your base. Talked about that earlier. Well, everybody Bulldogs. can see it now. Yeah, now you can see it. So we've had both sides here today for that rule. So Tucker 0-1. Here's the next pitch from Hewitt. There's a ground ball to second. Manishi gets it over to first. Brittany Arredondo comes in sliding. Sliding in. Nick's like, why? Just, just stand up. No need to slide. <laughs> just but if, come on in. if you've played this game, 
I'm a slide first guy, like better safe than sorry. Yeah. So Arredondo scores. Tucker grounds out but gets the RBI as she does the unselfish thing and grounds out to second for out number one. And that moves up. Uh, Nels to third. Kenna at second. Hardy over at second. And now A.J. Tagler. Tagler one for one on the day with a triple, an RBI, a hit by a pitch, and two runs scored. Right now she has ball one, strike one. One, one, the count. Still one out. Two runners on. Is that fastball is high for ball two? Two balls, one strike here to the number eight hitter, A.J. Tagler. I honestly think Brindley was coming in sliding because they had no outs, so they probably thought they were going to throw the ball to the catcher Absolutely. so they wouldn't get and, that 10-run rule. And it's, you know, again, catcher's wearing gear. Yeah. You don't want to go. So you got to make a decision, and once you decide that decision, you got to stick with it. And she was standing right over home, so I figured that she thought she was going to throw it. Absolutely. So they wouldn't score that run. I honestly thought they had the infield up a little bit, thought so, but hey, they know the speed over there. Mm -hmm. Arredondo's known for their speed, right? Swing and a miss, snap throw down. Good throw. They had Nels off guard a little bit. Missed the tag as Tucker goes down swinging for out number two. And that brings up Haley. Haley one for one on the day. I think they're switching her out. Oh, they are. We're getting a substitution. Haley was one for one on the day with a single and RBI hit by a pitch and two runs scored. We're going to get a pinch hitter here. Number 19 era. 19 era. Leonard. Leonard comes into today hitting 358 on the year. 15 RBIs. Two outs, two runners on here. As Era takes that first pitch, called strike one on that inside corner. Twelve two, Bulldogs. There's a changeup and a deep drive, and as that's another home run. You talk about a great coaching decision there by Coach Branson. We're going to need Coach Branson's lottery numbers. <laughs> he calls, he puts Leonard in for a pinch hit three run bomb over the scoreboard in left field. Right behind the scoreboard there. Man, Leonard putting her name in the hat for the Horn Auto Center drive of the game, the Chevy Cadillac and GMC store that saves you more. And that's going to extend the Bulldogs lead to 15 to 2. There's strike one called to the leadoff hitter, Kendra Yabara. Yabara, two for three on the day. Four RBIs on a single and a home run. Oh, There's nice catch swing. by second base. What a catch there by Manishi. Haley ends the fourth inning. Here's the replay on the check swing from Kendra. Nice reach extension. Trying to get some excitement for the Cougars. We're going to the bottom of the fourth. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school softball on italk1067.com. Hey everyone, it's Joe G from Horn Auto Center and the Deuce of Clubs in Sholo. Yeah, we got new cars, but we got some awesome used cars for tax time. How about a 2022 Chevy Silverado RST? It's already lifted, it's got a 6.2 and 24,000 miles. Did you get a little bit of tax money? Credit's not so good? Well, check out this O2 Nissan Xterra. This thing is in great shape. It's a manual transmission and four-wheel drive. Over here, how about a 2023 Mazda CX-50? It's equipped with a 2.5 turbo and it's all-wheel drive. You gotta see the interior of this car. Over here, last but not least, we used to have a brand new Subaru Forester, a 2020 Forester Sport. 
symmetrical all-wheel drive, and all the safety features of Subaru. It's Horn Auto Center on the Deuce and Sholo. Come check us out here in person or at hornauto.com. Make it a great day. Welcome back to Sholo High School and Sholo Ford's presentation of high school softball on italk1067.com. It's been all Bulldogs so far as the Bulldogs are up 15 to two. And it just put on a hitting clinic. Tonight, there's ball one to Sydney Stahl. Flip my card over so I can get to Stahl. Stahl, 0 for 0 on the day as she walked in the second. There's strike one on the outside corner called. One ball, one strike. Ball low, 2-1. Stahl hitting 400 on the season. Five RBIs to her credit, according to the match preps sheet that I printed out today. There's a swing and a miss on that outside corner. 2-2. Two, two. Kaya's done a great job of hitting that outside corner, staying consistent with it. Cougars needing to make some adjustments to hit the ball the other way and go with that pitch. And there's... Strike three, Salazar applies the tag for out number one. And that's gonna bring up the nine hitter, Avery Irvin. Irvin, 0 for one on the day. Irvin coming into today, hitting 364. Strike one called on that outside corner. Kaya Wilcox in the circle for the Bulldogs. Ball one outside. One out here, bottom of the fourth. Bulldogs lead the Cougars 15 to two. There's a foul tip into the glove for strike two by Irvin. One ball, two strikes. Avery Irvin looking to spin it over to the top of the order. Get herself on base. There's a swing and a miss. <laughs> so, so Avery Irvin swings and misses three, on strike four, three. Salazar throws down to first, hits her in the helmet. The umpires are saying she's inside the baseline. So if you're inside the line, you're not running and there's a three foot mark. There's a second line down here marked. There's a second line marked down the first baseline and you have to stay outside, which is foul territory, in that three foot line or you're out. So, there's a strikeout for Irvin for out number two and that's gonna bring up Brooklyn Lang. Lang, one for two on the day with a run scored as she takes fastball on that outside corner for strike one. Nick had an important phone call. He's working NIL deals for his daughter, Brinley. <laughs> Talking to agents. <laughs> nope, got to work. Just kidding. No infractions going on here. We're just, just kidding. Nothing going on. No one called the AIA and report anybody. It's all jokes. One ball, one strike here to the Cougar leadoff hitter, Brooklyn Lang. Brooklyn coming into today, hitting 447 on the year. Again, one for two on the day with a single and a run scored. Here's the windup and the pitch. 
right on the inside corner. I'm just going to breathe. Do you want me to go ahead and put you on mute? No. <laughs> Turn on it. Turn on the ball and hit it. You can already see that Brindley's adjusted herself. She's now playing in the hole over there. She's waiting for it. She sure is. Again, great scouting. And there's a pitch on the inside. She bloops it in. Not necessarily the most powerful hit, but sometimes placement's better than anything else. Absolutely. Brooklyn crowding the plate. Finally gets a barrel on the hits it right in the no man's land between second base and right field. It's actually a pretty scary spot. Jocelyn's been point on over there. I know. She's been really good. Jocelyn made a great sliding play earlier in the game. So that's going to bring up Brindlin Lang. Ball outside. So Brooklyn now two for three on the day. Brindlin 0 for 1 with a walk coming into today, hitting 500 on the year. Trying to get something going here in the fourth for the Cougars. Brindlin ducks out of the way of that wild pitch. Brooklyn, big turn there at second as she advances. Hey, we talk about Bulldog speed. There's speed on the bases right now. <laughs> there is. She's fast. Cougars definitely have speed with the top two in their order. Actually, a top three with Manishi. Here's the windup and the pitch. Brindlin ducks out of the way of that one. Three balls, no strikes. The wind blowing out. Selfish here. I'm trying to get want my kid to get her first home run of her high school career. 3-0. Doubt she's swinging here as she takes another walk. Good selfless at bat as that's Brindlin's second walk of the day. And that's going to bring up Haley Manishi. Manishi one for two on the day. Single run scored. Manishi hitting a whopping 551. Six home runs and 23 RBIs. Here's the pitch from Wilcox. Strike one on that outside corner to Haley. It's been called there all night. It's been consistent all night long. And, folks, we're right behind it. It's a strike. It's on the plate. There's no off the plate that it's a strike. It is hitting the corner, and it's a strike. Here's the one. As Kaya slips. Right, check on Kaya out there as she slips on her delivery. I think Haley swung through that. Scoreboard has 0-2. I just saw Kaya slip. That's where my focus went. Coach Branson out there to check on Wilcox. It looks like she just lost her footing. She's laughing. Coaches, kids are laughing, so hopefully she's not hurt. We'll tell Kaya that everybody on YouTube can go back and watch, watch her fall in the, <laughs> in the bottom of the fourth inning. She's Whatever that timestamp is, looks like she's all right. We can only make those jokes because she is okay. Yes. <laughs> no balls, two strikes. And talked two outs. Two outs. Talked about the speed on the bases. Anything in the gap here scores two. As there's ball one. Kaya's trying to fix it. Looks like there's a divot from the pitchers today. She's trying to kick it out so she can reestablish her footing. One ball, two strikes, two outs, two runners on as the Lang twins are on base. And strike there's three. Strike three. Right where it's been all night long. On that outside corner. All night. We're going to the top of the fifth. Bulldogs lead 15-2. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school softball on italk1067.com. At Summit Healthcare, you'll find a level of care you might not expect from a rural hospital. We recently received five stars from CMS, a prestigious ranking that less than 5% of facilities in Arizona earned. Our cancer center has proven its level of advanced care with a national accreditation from the Commission on Cancer. And we continue to add more doctors and services so that you don't have to leave the mountain to find the care you need. At Summit Healthcare, we're elevating care here at home. 
Winning takes focus, preparation, and support. Keep focused on your dream career while saving thousands in tuition costs at Northland Pioneer College. We're here to support your goals and see you succeed. Visit npc.edu to see our programs. An academic advisor will get you on the right path to achieve your educational goals. Northland Pioneer College, expanding minds, transforming lives. Welcome back to Sholo High School and Sholo 4's presentation of High School Softball on italk1067.com. We're going to the top of the fifth. Bulldogs lead the Cougars 15 to two. Bulldogs coming up the bat. Gonna have. Looks like they did a change here. Yeah, number gonna, 12 coming up. So Junior Brown is gonna exit the game. I'm going to guess that she will re-enter on defense as she's a bulldog second baseman. 12 for Could five. be wrong, but that's gonna bring up number 12, Riley Sharp. Riley hitting 385 on the year. So Sharp comes in here in the fifth to lead off as she takes fastball in that inside corner for strike one. Yes, 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 until it's not, right? Here we go, you can, kid, let's go. Our effects, Mike, picking up Coach Branson over there in the third base box. Here's the pitch from Hewitt outside for ball one. Seems like she's kind of trying to do a fast pitch on that. You got to be ready in that box. Right. She's throwing it in there quick. Riley back on the rubber and delivers. Strike two called on that inside corner. For you that are wondering, Coach Branson sitting in the third base box. Instead of Coach Hayes, uh, Coach Hayes had a family emergency that he had to get out of, unfortunately leave in the first inning of this game. So we want to wish Coach Hayes and his family um, well wishes, send prayers his way for what they've got going on. Um, so that's why Coach Branson's taking over the reins right now for the Bulldogs. Sharp takes ball two in the dirt. Even without their head coach, Bulldogs maybe rallying around that a little bit as there's a Mountain Mobile Autoglass foul ball. Um, yeah, this is a pretty again, good team right now. They're, they're probably saying, let's do this for Hayes. You absolutely. Know? You know, it's, you know, it's a life first, family first thing over a game. Um, Yes, game important, but some things are more important. So, again, wish uh, Coach Hayes and his family uh, well wishes and prayers uh, for and speedy recoveries for speedy recovery. things going on in their family, not to get into details. As Sharp goes down swinging for out number one. And that's going to bring up Angela Salazar. Salazar, one for three on the day. Again, my book's unofficial as I have her reaching on an air in the first. And the absolute bomb back in the second for three RBIs. And then a walk and a run scored in the fourth as she ducks out of the way of that one. She takes that called strike on the inside corner. One ball, one strike, one out. Here's the windup and the pitch. Ducks out of the way of that one for ball two. You know, last regular season game for the Bulldogs, and then they sit and wait. Yeah. You know, they have this weekend off. Monday is the last. There's ball three in the dirt. Monday is the last day for regular season games. Uh, Cougars have two more games left. They play Saturday against Joe City, Monday against the Snowflake Lobos in the 3A East region matchup all eyes might be over here since nothing else is going on nothing else is going on you know, everybody might be paying attention here i believe we're doing it right now. we'll be back here monday uh for the lobos and that's the your guys' senior night isn't it yes it's a uh, senior night so i will have some help i believe uh aaron hewish is going to help me out as I'll have senior festivities with my daughters. Um, 
emotional night. You just went through it, Nick. I'm going to have to get some tips and tricks from you on how you kept emotions together because well, it's hard with one. I could just imagine with two. I got twins, so yeah, it's, uh, there's, it's hard. There's two. But anyway, I mean, regardless, senior night, there's a Mount Mobile Auto Glass foul ball. Right over the trailer, Itox trailer. So, you know, talking about that, not to get sappy and emotional, Brindley on deck, possibly her last regular season at bat as a senior as Bulldogs going into the playoffs. There's a line drive up the middle from Salazar. Salazar with a single up the middle. As Salazar is now two for three on the day as she was she walked and scored and that does bring up Arredondo Brindley one for three on the day with a single RBI and run scored beautiful night again here in Sholo under the lights slight breeze not too chilly and a great night of ball Salazar off and running as she is thrown out by Umfris. Salazar caught stealing on the 2-6 th the put out. Nice throw there by Umfris. Two balls, no strikes to Brinley Arredondo. Again, Arredondo, six bombs on the year, hitting 5.56 on the season. Kind of makes you wonder if they're going to try to walk her. There's a ground ball to second. Hot shot. Fielded at by the second baseman. And that's going to do it for the Bulldogs. We're going to the bottom of the fifth. Cougars need to score a few. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school softball and italk 1067com who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right, not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy, Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at SholoFord.com. You've been there, waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there, and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. Welcome back to Sholo High School and Sholo Ford's presentation of High School Softball on italk1067.com. Bottom of the fifth, Cougars need a few, for they are in jeopardy of the fifth of the ten run rule here in high school softball. Down 13, they need at least four. At least, yep. Oh, is and that might be one. As Riley Hewitt, that's sends oh. one deep into the left center gap over the fence as Riley's trying to chip away. As there's a shot of Riley coming around, stepping on home. As Riley decides she wants to throw her name in the hat for that Deemer's glass, glass shattering hit of the game. Again, if you need glass for your home or business, call Deemer's Glass at 1-888-GLASSMAN. That's going to bring up Angie Villa. Angie 0 for 1 on the day with a strikeout and a walk. Hewitt now 1 for 3 on the day. As we just saw that home run deep into the right center gap. Here's the pitch from Wilcox. Ball outside. Wilcox and Hewitt are gonna see each other again for the next two years as they're both sophomores. Great pitching matchup when those two face each other the next two years. Four more times, Nick. Yep. Yeah, they got. 
Outside corner. For a call strike night one. Long. One one. Wilcox with the windup and the delivery. Fastball high from ball two. Two balls, one strike. There's a swing and a miss for strike two. Two, two. Two, two counts. Here's the wind up and the pitch from Wilcox. Ball in the dirt. Full count. Full count here. She's trying to chip away here a little bit. Try to put some more on the board for the Cougars. Got it on the and corner. There's that corner again. Strike three called for out number one. And that's going to bring up Ana Soto. Soto one for two on the day with a single. Here's the wind up and the pitch from Wilcox. Strike on the outside corner. For called strike one. Wilcox checks her wrist for the sign and delivers. There's a Mountain Mobile Auto Glass foul ball. Right over our head. Two. Trying to tally some stuff up here, Nick. Wilcox, seven strikeouts on the day. They're going to call time here. Coach is going to come out and talk to her a little bit. Going to try to, again, must be a, not sure what. Everyone's laughing, so it must be a good conversation out there. Of course, when you're up 15 to 3, kind of hard not to have some smiles at yeah. the moment. Smiles in one dugout, not many in the other. They're still cheering pretty good, though. They're, they got the energy up in there a little bit. Wilcox so far has given up five hits, seven strikeouts on the game. Here we go. No balls, two strikes, one out. Here's the windup and the pitch. Ball low. And Salazar blocked that one. Kaya making her case for that Honda Ski and Outdoor Sports Sword Player of the Game. Remember, Honda Ski and Outdoor Sports has the best selection of hiking, camping, hunting, fishing gear. Just oh, strike gets right, right on the, the corner. Casino. And there's another strike out. Looking. For out number two, as that's number eight on the game for Wilcox. And that's going to bring up Gracie Umfris. Umfris 0 for 1 on the day with a walk and a fly out. Ball in the dirt. Great stop by Angela. Cougars again, got to get a few more runs or this game will be over due to the 15 run rule or the 10 run rule. Ten run rule. Ball too high, 15 to three here in the bottom of the fifth. 10 run rule does take effect after five innings or if you're the home team, four and a half. Wilcox back up on the rubber, Umfris digs in. Here's the windup and the pitch. And there's a long drive in the left field. Off the fence. Umfers around first. Head first slide in the second. 
as that's going to be a double. Because there's a great shot as it's just right off the bottom of the fence. Good pickup, good relay. Couldn't get on first as she dives in safely to second with a double. And that brings up number 10, Sydney Stahl. Stahl 0 for 1 on the day with a walk. Stahl hitting 400 on the year. Strike one on that outside corner. Again, Cougars need to get some more runs across. Had a good start to the inning with a leadoff homer by Riley Hewitt. That ball's in the dirt. Umfress over to third. Slides in safely. Again, Hewitt using that corn-fed Iowa in her from her dad and her dad's side with that massive bomb to right center. She's dirty. She is a little dirty over there at third, isn't she? <laughs> Wilcox with the windup and the pitch. Ball two outside. Two balls, one strike, two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Cougars down 12. Illegal ball. Went to her mouth and never wiped. Illegal pitch called as that's now a ball. So, three one. If you lick your fingers, you have to wipe your fin You have to wipe them off on your pants or your jersey. You can't go directly to the ball. And there's ball four outside. A stall reaches on the walk, and that's going to bring up nine hitter shortstop Avery Irvin. Irvin. 0 for 2 on the day. As we're going to get a little conference here from Coach Nix down there, giving some instructions to Irvin. Irvin nods in agreement and walks back up, digs in. Bulldogs one out away from ending this one. Cougars trying to extend this game into the sixth. There's a fastball out. Here comes Umfris. Got her. She is out at the plate. As that's how it ends. Cougars needing 12 runs. Get thrown out at home on the pass ball. And that's going to do it. Bulldogs win 15 to 3. We're going to step away and come back with post game wrap up and some awards. We'll be right back as a show will forward presentation of high school softball on italk1067.com. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire-rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. Want to go skiing or snowboarding? Visit our friendly Honda Outdoor Sports. We offer skis, snowboards, and helmet rentals, custom footbeds, ski and snowboard repairs, as well as retail shopping for your snow gear, goggles, beanies, snow tubing, and even ice fishing supplies. We have all you need to prepare you for the outdoors. We welcome you to Honda Outdoor Sports, located one mile west of the casino. Welcome back to Sholo High School and Sholo Forge presentation of high school softball on italk1067.com. First award will be Sholo. You may not throw a camera that way. Bulldogs win this one 15 to 3 as their bats were red hot today. We'll go over some stuff here in a second, but as our cameras are on the Cougars, Nick, we're going to give our Horn Auto Glass 
drive of the game to number one right there in the middle of the screen, Riley Hewitt with an absolute missile bomb over that right center uh, field fence. That ball was gone. Yeah, that thing, minute she hit it, you knew it was gone. So our Chevy Cadillac and GMC store that saves you more, Riley Hewitt with our Horn Auto Center drive of the game. We can go back over to Winslow now because the rest of them are for them. On the Bulldog side, our Deemer's glass, glass shattering hits because there's multiple of the game. Deemer's glass, if you need glass for your home or business, call Deemer's glass at 1-888-GLASSMAN. They are hands down the best quality glass at affordable prices. Kendra Yabara, one of them with a home run, four RBIs on a home run and a single. She hit a moonshot over the scoreboard in left center. Gone. Kendra Yabara, one of our glass shattering hits of the game. The other one, catcher Angela Salazar. Salazar hits one to left center. Salazar number six for the Bulldogs. Yabara number 17 for the Bulldogs in there. Trying to pick them out. They are on the left hand side. Next to Yabara is right there in front of number nine. And then Angela there to the right of the coaches still in her catcher's gear. You can see there on the right side of the screen there. So Salazar has a three-run bomb back in the second. And those are our two Deemer's glass, glass shattering hits of the game. Again, if you need glass for your home or business, call Deemer's glass at 1-888-GLASSMAN. Honda, Ski and Outdoor Sports Store player of the game. Nick, this one was a little more difficult as, again, the bats were on fire. See if I can go through quickly. Uh, Bulldogs score the 15 on, that's a whole lot of hits. It's a lot of that's hits. That's just a lot of hits. But in the circle, right there in the white uh, hat on our screen, right in front of number the, 20, number twenty, the coach right there, right there in the middle, um, uh, Kaya Wilcox in the circle for the Bulldogs. She's our Honda Ski and Outdoor Sports Store player of the game. Kaya gave up six hits to a very good Sholo offense. Yes. Limiting them to six hits. And only one home run. One home run. Again, some power in that lineup. Striking out eight. So Kaya Wilcox, there is our outdoor uh, ski and sports store player of the game. Again, they have the best selection of hiking, camping, hunting, fishing gear in the White Mountains, south of Pine Top on Highway 260 on the right side of the road before you get to the casino. So congratulations to Kaya. Now they sit and wait, Nick. Will this, you know, the final rankings should come out on Tuesday. Um, you'll have one come out tomorrow. So they'll kind of have a gauge of where the Bulldogs will sit going into the playoffs. Looks like sitting in the sixth spot and a win tonight they would have a bye on the play-in game they wouldn't have to play in that opening round which is not considered the playoffs but in all of our minds it's playoffs because it's winner go home it's winner go home so your top eight seeds have a bye in the power rankings and then nine through 24 match up in the play-in game and after those games next week they will reseed the bracket of the 16, and the Bulldogs sitting at six would actually host a first round playoff game in Winslow. Again, opponent to be determined. So good luck to the Bulldogs um, as they sit and wait. Cougars trying to bounce back. They have Joe City again on Friday, and then we're back here on iTalk with the Snowflake Lobos Lobos looking to come in here and win a region title with a win on senior night. More distractions for the Cougars um, with senior night. Last home game for those seniors and a very good opponent as the, as the Lobos are ranked third right now in the state with only one loss. 
You know where that one loss is? Against Thick? the Bulldogs. And the Winslow Bulldogs are the only team. They went and beat them in their hometown. To get the, after Lobos got them in Snowflake and he, or in Winslow, Winslow for a very good game of 4-1. to one, And then it was an offensive power show in Snowflake. Home runs after home runs. As was... both the Lobos and the Bulldogs had multiple home runs and a high-scoring output game that had the Bulldogs come out victorious over there. So with nothing else going on on Monday, I'm sure the Lady Bulldogs have some interest in that game uh, here in Sholo. Watch party at your house, right, Nick? Yep, over there. everyone will be watching. So iTalk will be on Nick's TV with the Lady Bulldogs watching. Good luck to them in the playoffs. We'll see you Monday. This is Sholo Forge presentation of high school softball on iTalk1067.com. This has been Sholo Ford's presentation of local sports on iTalk 1067 KNKI Pine Top and iTalk1067.com. Brought to you in part by Northland Pioneer College, Ace Hardware of the White Mountains, Deemer's Glass, Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tint, Summit Regional Medical Center, Horn Auto Center, and Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport. This broadcast has been a copyrighted production of iTalk 1067 and Country Mountain Airwaves, a Copaniki Communications Station. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or use of this broadcast without the expressed written consent of iTalk 1067 or Country Mountain Airwaves is strictly prohibited. For more information on this game and other games around the region, 